Begin by scrolling over Items and selecting Create Items. Select the item type Tests from the drop-down menu. Next, you must upload the PDF off which your test is based. Click Upload a File, select the PDF, and click Open. Now, it's time to add the metadata. Add a title, select a subject, Choose appropriate grade levels. Type in a description. And add some tags. Next, add a schedule. The schedule determines the period during which students can submit test responses. Select a start date and time, then select an end date and time. Next, you must select whether or not the test will be scored. If you select on, then you will be able to assign point values for each question in the test. After students take the test, it will be scored based on the point values you have assigned. You can also turn reporting on or off. When reporting is on, students will receive an email after taking the test that shows them which answers they got right, which they got wrong, feedback on each question, and their test score. If scoring is on, you can add a passing score to the test. Finally, Add the source where you got the test from, copyright information, and a URL if you found it on an external website. Click Save to finish the first step in creating a test. When the test has been created, it is time to mark it up with questions, answers, and point values. This is all done on the Manage Tests page. Click the link to continue. Add the first question to your test by clicking on the Add button. This creates a small box that will show students where the question text is. Use your mouse to move the box and resize it to encompass your first question. Scroll to the bottom of the page to finish creating your question. First, choose what type of question you would like to create. You can create a multiple choice question, which requires one correct answer, a checkbox question, which can have more than one correct answer, a true or false question, a short answer question, which requires students to type in the answer themselves with the teacher being able to determine multiple possible correct answers, or a free response question, which does not have a set correct answer, so it is not graded. This first question is multiple choice. Next, add text for the question. You can copy and paste the question from your PDF, or simply indicate which question it is. The student will still be able to see the question on the PDF, so it is not necessary to put the full text here. You can add a hint to help the student answer the question. This is optional. If you have scoring on, you must assign a point value to the question. Another optional category is feedback, where you can type text that will be sent to students after they take the test if reporting is turned on. Next, we must add answer choices. Click Add Answer to begin. As with questions, students will be able to view the answer text on the PDF as they are taking the test, so it is not necessary to enter the full answer text, except for short answer questions, since the answer the student types in must match one of the possible answers provided by the teacher. Once you have entered all of your answer choices, check the box next to the correct answer, then click Save to complete the question. When you are done adding questions and answers, click Test Parameters, then click Save. This will allow your test to be published and taken by students. Go to your dashboard to view all the tests you have created. Click on a test to view the item page for that test. On this page, you can publish the test, which makes it available for students to submit once the schedule period starts. Once you have published a test, you are no longer able to change its questions and answers. Clicking Manage Tests brings you to the page where you can mark up the test adding questions and answers. Clicking Copy Test creates a copy of the test under your account. This allows you to reuse tests with a different schedule or to copy and use the test another teacher created. This concludes our Creating Test tutorial. For more video tutorials, go to nettext.com slash media.shtml.